Hello Sunday Club, what's up? Uncle Barry here. Hope you're enjoying your Easter holidays. We're going to start a new series on the fruits of the Spirit and we'll be looking at this over the next couple of weeks. So, hope you enjoy it. Catch you later. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, Peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be part of the kingdom? Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. Don't you want to be part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be part of the kingdom? Don't you want to be part of the kingdom? Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. Hello, children. This week we're going to be talking about the fruits of the Spirit. So, first of all, I want you to find your Bible reading. So, get your Bible. And it's Galatians 5, verse 22. Okay, you can pause the video now while you go and get your Bible and find that verse. And then I'll be waiting for you when you return. Okay, are we ready to go? Have you got your Bible reading? I'm ready? Great. So, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed all their desires and all the sinful nature, so that's all the things that we do wrong, to the cross and crucified them there with him. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. Let us not become conceited or provoke one another or be jealous of one another. Okay, let's have a little look at that. So, what do you think when you hear the term fruit of the Spirit? I'm listening. They're all good answers. These gifts, called fruit of the Spirit, are seeds God grows inside all of us to show each other what love looks like. They are seeds of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. All these are things Jesus modelled for us to show us what it looks like, how to show love, how to have joy, how to be patient and so on. The cool thing is that when we accept Jesus to become the Lord of our life, God plants those seeds and they begin to grow. Think about how each of those things show up in your life. Are you patient when you have to wait your turn in line or at school? Do you show love to people who might not be so easy to love? Maybe a new child in your class or something. Let's think of some ways we can show those gifts right now. What do you think? Wow, you all have some many awesome ways that you show love to one another through the fruit of growing God growing in each of you. One way the fruit of the Spirit grows in our lives is when we see it growing in the lives of others. Then we know what it's supposed to look like and how it should behave. And when other people see those gifts growing in your lives, you're showing them how God wants us to behave. God sent his son Jesus to show us what our fruit should look like when it's fully grown. When we read our Bibles, we can see the perfect example of what our fruit should look like and how we should live for God. So these are all great things that we can learn about the fruit of spirit by looking at Jesus. Remember, God sent Jesus to this earth to teach us how to live and show us how to please God, right? So that means the more we learn how to follow Jesus' example, 
the more we get to know about him. The more we learn to love him and the more we try to be like him and the more God's love becomes part of us. So in the next few weeks, all the teachers are going to be looking at different parts of the fruits of the Spirit. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to learn lots of things. I hope you'll join us. See you soon. Bye. Hello. Auntie Jen's been telling you about the fruits of the Spirit this week. And so we're going to make something that will help you remember it as we look over it in the, over the next few weeks as we look at the different fruits of the Spirit. So what we need is a printout from the Fruits of the Spirit, which you'll find at the bottom of this video, and two of these little circle printouts. Now you can print these on paper or card. Card is better, but paper works equally as well. The other things you'll need is a, a little pin to hold it together, or a drawing pin if you get an adult to flatten the back, some glue, some crayons, and scissors. Now the first thing to do is to colour in your fruits. And this will help you remember what the fruits of the Spirit are. And then you have to cut them all out, very small, including this one, the fruits of the Spirit. And once you've done that, you'll have lots of little bits of fruit. Then you need to cut out both of these circular templates so you end up with one that's a circle and one that you just cut a little piece out of then you can stick your fruits of the spirit into each space so you've got gentleness love faithfulness and all of the rest of the fruits of the spirit and then you can take the top bit Turn it over and you can see I've glued fruits of the spirit to you to tell you what it is. And then you put them together using the pin. And there you have a little reminder of all the fruits of the spirit. Now if you're really good at drawing you might want to draw your own fruits but that will, this little printout will give you an idea of what the fruits of the Spirit are. Well, I hope that's given you something to do, and I hope that will remind you as we look onto the fruits of the Spirit in coming weeks of what they're all about. Bye for now. Let us pray. Father, once again, we thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity and the privilege that it is to read from your word and to learn from your word. Fathers, we look at the different fruits of the Spirit. Father, we ask, Lord God, that for every single one of them, you will help us, Lord, to see how these can be applied in our lives so that we can be the children, be the people that you have called us to be with the guidance that you have given us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey guys, we have come to the end of another fantastic session this week. So, enjoy the rest of your Easter holidays and we'll catch up next week. See you then. Goodbye.